friends, I have failed you. I figure it's best to just admit your mistakes right off the top and then fix them. So on my last video where we were using the fabric tags, I told you um, that I had some projects in mind and I do. One of those projects is how to make these cute, sorry, the lighting in here is horrible, how to make these cute tags. And here's one that is stamped out. I have different things on the back. They're easy to print out. Um, this one has my QR code, so you can get to my business. I put these on my products, I put them on my bags, I put them in my photos, all kinds of things. And I make them using these. These are tags that I purchased from Avery. They have a handy dandy number here. And the best part is it's all set up. The labels are all set up in Avery in a template. They walk you through it way easier than my PowerPoint or my publisher option. And it's to the genius comment by Joy Williams that this tutorial is brought to you today in a mad scramble to hurry and fix my mistake. So you absolutely can use Publisher. I will still use Publisher because there are things that I like about it that the Avery template doesn't have. But the Avery template is free. You don't have to buy the labels. You can just use their online powerful editing content. And if you find something that you like on there that you actually want to print out, then you just buy the coordinating product of theirs. Um, let me show you what the sheet looks like and you're off and running. So it comes like this. And sorry. Also, I'm hurrying and filming this to get this uploaded before too many of you time, waste your time on the publisher option in case this is better. So the content of this video isn't going to be great. Um, I literally jumped out of bed, showered, started filming this without much thought. Okay, so here it is. I'm hoping to make it. There you go. Okay, yay. Perfect. So you can see that it has those perforations and it's folded and I send these through my inkjet printer. They work great. And best part is after you create your Avery template, it's going to let you save it as a PDF. So then you'll have it available on any platform and then you just print it. This is amazing. Thank you, Joy. I'm so mad at myself for not thinking about this option first. But this is why we have social media. This is why we have things like YouTube, things like Facebook groups, so that we can collectively become smarter and help each other. That's the whole reason for this channel anyways. So um, thank you, Joy. I really appreciate it. All right, let's get into how you do it and I'll stop yammering. Oh, if I haven't mentioned it already, please subscribe, even though sometimes I'm dumb and I mess things up, I will always make it right. Um, please subscribe. It helps me, um, you know, do things like not do the dishes because I'm thinking, hmm, I should do a YouTube video to help people out. If nobody's subscribing or nobody's looking or nobody's liking, then I don't have to do dishes. All right. Um, if you have kind, constructive comments and you think you could help me do better, like Joy saying, hey, what about this option? Please leave them in the comment section. And if I don't respond, it's because for whatever reason lately, YouTube hasn't been giving me notifications when comments come up. So now I have to dig for them and look for them. So if it's been a few days, I'm really sorry. Um, there are links on my uh, how to get a hold of me by email and social media in my channel description. Use those. Reach out to me. Rattle my cage. Crystal, I need to hear from you. I need some help. Okay, let's get into the content. Okay, so this is the Avery website. And there are all different kinds of templates available to you. Um, you can find a template. You can enter the number from the packaging. It's up here in the corner, and it also appears on each of the sheets, that same number. You can just scroll through. Um, so I'm going to look in here and find a template. We're just going to kind of play around again together um, because I don't, I haven't really played around with their blank templates because I'm always using it with a product. Let's look at round labels. Okay. So here they have an option that gives you 12 labels, so three across and four down. Again, all this will be set up for you. So you just kind of look and figure out which of the labels do you like. And let's go with this first one here. Okay. So it says, let us print for you. We don't want to do that. We want to do the start designing. 
And I should mention, I am logged in. I, you ha I think you have to create an account in order for the labels to download uh, and print, but it's free. There's no cost to do it. So they have all of these pre-designed labels. Um, maybe this is something that you want to use. We're gonna, I'm gonna be showing you how to do stickers later, um, how to print your own stickers. So this might be something um, that you want to steal, use for the stickers. Okay, um, and this one, this might be cute as a fabric label, the iron-on kind. So let's use this one. We're gonna select this design. Okay, and so it kind of walks you through, which is great. How does this all work? Edit all, use edit all to make global changes to your entire sheet or edit one. If you only want one of your labels to be changed, then you would choose this edit one. We wanna edit them all and then Look at that, they have a YouTube video tutorial. It's like a tutorial within a tutorial. All right, Joy, thank you for mentioning this. Okay, so we're gonna edit them all because we want an entire sheet of all the same. Okay, so it gives us this um, kind of content here. I'm gonna move this off to the side so you can see what I'm clicking on. And I know this because of my, um, my other labels I've already created that it will tell you that there's a safety area where your visual is going to get um, cut off. It's going, if you move it too far up, it's going to be off of your label. And so that's what they're telling you. Okay. So I think there's an undo button. I'm going to use this so that I get right back to where they started from. Okay. So right here, I would want to say, jar my cheek. And by the way, if you would like me to demonstrate using your logo or your company name, please let me know because I get tired of saying Charming Cheek and I'm sure you're probably tired of it. Um, I'm happy to use somebody else's um, information. Okay, so I've selected it all. And now the thing that I'm looking for is that I'm wanting to know how can I fix this spacing so that this all fits better. And Looking down here, what does this do? Okay, that doesn't do anything. Well, let's just go ahead and reduce the size of the text then. And again, I did not practice this tutorial. This is just, I mean, some of this stuff, you're going to have to watch the videos, uh, the YouTube available through Avery and see if you can find a better way. All right, so Charming Cheek. Oh, sorry, my phone's thinking at me. Charming cheek. And I've selected this text, and I'm just typing on top of it. Why is it not doing that? I hit delete now. Okay. This is my tagline. Add the word. Okay. And this is part, so this is its own little text box. I can move it down here. And I don't need this word, so I'm going to take this, I'm going to just delete this text box by hitting the delete key. And I don't need the ounces, so I'm going to also delete that. Okay. Uh, you can customize this font. So this, if this is a font you don't like, then you select it and then choose a different one over here. There's all different kinds. And I'm looking to see, it. Does, it's not using any of my system fonts because I know that I have fonts in here that aren't being used, that aren't being displayed. This is actually one of the fonts that I have on the labels that I pre, those round ones that I showed you, the scallop labels, but I'm just gonna leave it as this. You saw that you can change the, um, the font. So we're all done. And let's say preview and print. Okay, so print, you want to use the print it yourself option. And you want to do print them all rather than just print one. And so you're going to click this get PDF to print and it's going to warn you, you should save this file and you should. So Yep, we strongly recommend that you save your design before continuing to prevent losing your work. Say, yes, I want to save it. I name it something so, um, 
Mm. I'm going to save it to my account and say OK. And then now I want to open that PDF. So it opens, they're all here, they're all organized. And then now you would download this. And I'm going to download, oops, I'm going to download it to my fabric tags place on my folder. You can download, you download it to wherever you want to on your computer. And save. And then now when you need to go and print this again, you don't have to come into Avery. You would just go to your computer file and open it and then print it right out. Now I'm going to show you what happens when you already have a design. So I'm closing that window and I am going to come over here to open and I'm opening my existing labels. So these are all different versions of that same lab label. I do have them saved to my computer, but if I need to save, uh, make a change, like for instance, um, let me show you this one. Okay, I generated a QR code, another tutorial I'm gonna show you. I generated a, two, a QR code so that when people get my product or if actually I hand these out a lot of times as business cards when I'm out and about and people see my bags and they want to know how to order one or masks. So I hand this out to people, they use their phone, they scan this and then it takes them right over to my Facebook page, which is where I conduct most of my business. Um, I have a website, it's, it's hidden from view because I don't have it perfect yet, um, but eventually I wanna change this QR code so that it will take people to my website, not just to Facebook. So I will need to create a new QR code and then fix this. So I'm going to uh, say replace image and I'm gonna browse for a file. And let's just come over here to my... Um, Okay, I'm going to pause you so I can find a good file to share. Hold on just a sec. Okay, so <laughs> I paused that because who knows what I have named some of my files. Uh, and for instance, dog butts. You might be wondering what dog butts are. Um, you'll have to wait and we'll look at that another day. So from designmuffles.net, I purchased this um, amazing bundle of different designs and I love them and I use them for some of my uh, products. So let's just say that I want to add this cute ranunculus in. And now that has replaced the QR code. It would be the same concept with any new QR code that I put in here, it would replace that and there you have it. Now uh, you can do fun things like adding curved text. Um, and I would just say, change this. And use my cursor. Let's see. Let's just hit delete. Okay, easy, right? So you just change all that. And again, we would say um, save, download it as PDF, and then print it in for whatever reason we want it to be printed, whether it's those fabric labels, the leather labels, whatever. It's done. Okay, so I think that I gave you a new better option if you're not savvy with publisher. This one has more hands-on help. Sorry that it took me a little bit, um, you know, to kind of get to this option. And I want to say thanks again to Joy for mentioning it this morning. Uh, I'm excited that we now have talked about these labels. I will go more in depth later, um, kind of when I'm not so rushed and I'm not scrambling to get this out to you. I hope you'll forgive any kind of wonkiness with the video today. If you want more information, if I went too fast, if I left something very important out, um, let me know in the comments. I'm not great at a lot of things, but I'm good with these kinds of things. And so sometimes I forget what it's like to experience this as someone who isn't familiar with it. And that's not intentional. And please let me know. Shake me and say, Crystal, I, we don't know what you're talking about. I'll fix it just like I did today. I'll come back. I'll stop doing what I was doing and I'll fix it and upload it so that you have the best information and you're not frustrated. I know what it feels like to have just enough information to get you kind of, you know, 
looking forward to more and then to be left hanging. If I'm doing that, it's not what I want to be doing. Let me know I need to fix it. All right. I am going to be seeing you soon. I can't wait to show you some new projects and hopefully we'll just keep building on this little library of things that we're doing together. All right. I'll be seeing you. Thanks again. Bye-bye.